Welcome back everybody. This video we're going to be diving into a new topic about time, right? So far we have gone over basically all the beginning stuff of C programming. So I would say if you were able to complete the coding challenge in the previous video, you have a pretty sustainable beginner foundation. But really you can't build awesome programs with the skills you have so far. You need more complex programming concepts. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about branching. And essentially what branching is, is when a program splits based on something. So right here, this branching point, we're going to put an expression. And I think I told you guys this, but if I, if I didn't, I'll just go over it one more time. An expression is something that gets evaluated to a value. So we are going to be working with what's known as Boolean expressions. And a Boolean expression is going to evaluate as true or false. So you can see that there's uh, two states, true or false. So we can ask some question. That would be the expression. If it's true, we're gonna go down one branch. If it's false, we're going to go down another. And this is the basis for what's known as Boolean logic. Boolean logic is integrated into a lot of fields. Uh, this is not just computer science, but computer engineering is huge with Boolean logic. And essentially it allows you to build complex expressions that will ultimately get converted or evaluated to true or false. And we're gonna talk about that in this video, which is going to build the foundation for more complex programming where we can branch, do loops, all kinds of cool stuff like that. So let's get into it. To begin, we need to make an expression. So let's say we wanted to build an application where you had to be at least 13 for people to use. Well, you might have a variable age. And you would say age is greater than 13. And you ask this question, is age greater than 13? And if it's true, then you let the person in the application. If it's false, then they do not have access to the application. So this is a simple expression, but this is not really enough to even make really complex applications. This will allow for simple branching, and in fact, you could basically do any branching you needed because uh, you could branch multiple times, like this. But sometimes it's easier to do what's known as a compound expression. So a compound expression is going to ask two questions and combine them together and will ultimately come down to true and false. And we can uh, write all this out in what's known as a truth table to visually see what's going on. So let's make a truth table. And truth tables are huge when it comes to Boolean algebra or Boolean logic as it allows us to easily come to conclusions with uh, what the values are. So we start with our first expression. Age is greater than 12. I think it was 12. Basically, if you're a teenager, you can access this application. But what if we wanted to only let females use this application? Well, then we would do something like sex is female. And now we want to evaluate on both of these. So what we do is we create a table and we put all of the possible values for these things. And then what happens is at this final column, we have the combination. So age greater than 12 and sex is female. This double and sign is known as a logical operator and uh, it allows us to combine multiple expressions. So now what we do is we write down every single possible value for the left hand side. The, the final right hand column, that's just the result. So uh, we'll have to do some, some thinking for that. So what we do is we start with true true, true, false, false, true, and false, false. And then we think about the result. So if with an and, with a and signs, if they're both true, it's true. If one's true, one's false, it's false. If one's false and one's true, it's false. If they're both false, it's false. And this is kind of like the, um, the structure, true, false, 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 for the, for the ands. So we basically just put the end result of combining these together. And this allows us to see how our stuff is going to be evaluated. 
So the only time that we're actually going to be able to get access to our application is in this case, when age is greater than 12 and sex is female. Obviously, it's really simple to see in this situation, but sometimes we have more complex uh, expressions that are combined together using operators. And in that situation, these truth tables can be really helpful for debugging and building out our application to figure out what our branching is going to look like. So in this situation, in our branch, this case right here, this would be one branch. And then any of these three would be the other branch. Just so you can kind of visually see that. One of the key takeaways here is to realize that the end result is always true or false. So it's a single value. This large expression gets evaluated to a single value, which is what we ultimately branch on, whether the answer is true or false. All of this concept that we've talked about so far can be applied to what's known as control flow. A control flow statement is uh, basically a computer science term for that branching or looping. So within the control flow statement uh, title, we have if statements, we have fors, we have whiles, any kind of structure that allows us to make more complex applications. So in the upcoming videos, we are going to begin our discussion on control flow statements and how to use these expressions that we've built inside of these control flow statements to make more complex, awesome applications. So yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this stuff is really fun and this, this is really super useful information just to try to think about this at a more conceptual level when we do truth tables and all of that because not only is this applicable to computer science, but if you ever do computer engineering, you're going to have logic gates like such. This is an example of an AND logic gate. You're gonna have OR. All of these have truth tables that represent their values and the end result. And you can combine all these uh, operators, what, what are known as logical operators in computer science, you can combine them to make circuits. So it's not just computer science, but also computer engineering, and I'm sure lots of other fields. So really cool stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please be sure to subscribe as I'm trying to grow my channel and whatnot. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.